Yo, welcome back to another Great League Remix video. Let's see if we can get some wins today with this new team that we we are using. So we're going to try out the Shadow Empoleon paired with the Shadow Gligar and then the Superior as our um, third Pokemon. Here we're going to get switched out into the Greedon. Kind of a weird one to deal with. The Greedon is running the Trollblade so it is able to throw some good neutral um, damage. And now their attack is um, buffed up. So we're just going to continue applying pressure here. Uh, we thinking about shielding here. We let the body slam go. So the body slam did not KO, but you can see we're already into the low red. And just like that, they are back at another body slam. We're going to shield here, hoping that we can get to another move. So we do get to another move. This is going to get the last shield or going to get the KO. They decide to just let it go. And now they have the Glagger to come back in with. Glagger is going to have to be... Um, met with our Empoleon here we have to think about shielding or letting this go we decided to shield they ended up beating so obviously not great for us we're gonna go here with our hydro cannon gonna get this shield and let's see if we can catch a dig if we catch this dig here we might have a chance okay we do catch a dig which is great and now we're gonna race to a move our opponent here um is one off from their move we're able to throw this arrow ace Barely doesn't quite, barely doesn't take out the Gligar. And now we have this Carbine to deal with. So Superior versus this Carbine, pretty good. Um, if we can get to another move here, we can take out this um, Carbine, but it does not happen. But that's still okay, because now we can come back in with our Empoleon to farm down. And then we're going to have to throw a move. They are one move away and we are going to be able to get to this hydro cannon here for the ko so ggs to our opponent able to win that game with the combination of superior in the end and the empoleon so we have the empoleon and glider core they do a great job of um being each other's compliments and then superior is kind of just to scare away the electric types here we have the dugong in the lead dugong is obviously not very good against our backline backline is um not looking forward to any ice type so we're gonna stay in here we we are gonna get uh the drill pick to go through but then they throw the icy wind bait so nice play by my opponent here we're gonna um throw another drill pick and they survive so that was that was actually pretty bad we're gonna let this go and then our opponent does snipe our Empoleon and we're gonna have to come in with our Gligar here. So Gligar is gonna be able to outpace um, To these arrow aces before this Polyrath can throw a move. So we're gonna have to um, make sure we uh, Throw this next arrow ace on good timing. They decide to switch out into the Pidgeot in the back and we go from bad to worse because this uh, Superior here has to deal with a flyer, which is not which is not that great. The only silver lining right now is they potentially could leave themselves with enough farm for our Empoleon to farm down and then we're going to have energy to throw back at their last Pokemon. So it looks like they are going to have to um, throw a, a move here. Ends up being the Brave Bird, unfortunately not able to win that game right there. So GG's to our opponent, able, able to uh, win that game with their Pidgeot in the back. Pidgeot would have been um, just terrible against our superior even with um two shields so on to the next game here we got the shadow empoleon versus the gliger all right this is not bad so we're going to make sure we throw our move on good timing here um we allow them to throw the first move and we're gonna have to make a decision we do shield the correct dig and then we're gonna throw this hydro cannon uh, this is definitely going to get shielded. Makes sense. And now we're going to be trying to catch a move. Ooh, they did not throw the move. So our opponent here is going to be able to throw some good neutral arrow aces. However, they're staying in for now. They're deciding to throw all their Gligar energy into our own Gligar. Um, okay, there's the Steelix. Steelix here has to um, tank a dig. Let's see if they end up tanking it. They do tank it. Does some good damage. Roughly... 60 to 70 percent damage right there so we'll take that and then we're gonna have energy on our empoleon this is i'm um, gonna get the ko or get the shield yeah, so they decided to just let it go and now we have the superior versus this 
polyrath. Polyrath here is not going to be able to outpace the superior. So uh, we're going to apply the pressure. They end up shielding. Now our opponent is going to be able to get to this icy wind. They do get the debuff. However, we're going to try our best to um, take out this Gligar and the Polyrath with this superior. One arrow yes goes through, takes out the Gligar, and now they have to face this superior. We're going to um, throw this arrow ace immediately because they're going to be able to get to their icy wind pretty soon. We're trying to switch out at some point, but at this point, we're just going to allow them to throw the move because um, it's not worth switching out at that point. And now we're going to have to try to race, and we do farm them down with our Shadow Empoleon. So GG's to our opponent, able to win that game with the Superior and the Empoleon in the back. Um, and that was off of a Gligar lead as well, so... The uh, superior kind of coming in clutch right now. Okay, terrible lead here. We're gonna have to switch out. This is why we have the uh, superior to kind of uh, have another answer to potential electric types. They go for the wild chart and dip, makes sense. Um, and then we're gonna have to fire off this uh, frenzy plant. Frenzy plant does roughly 40, 45% uh, uh, to this mantine, so not bad. They're gonna be able to get to this arrow ace uh, before we get to another move and now all we have to do is come back in with our Empoleon looking for a farm down because we don't have to worry about any moves that this Mantine can throw it's pretty much just gonna be all chip damage at this point arrow aces okay ice beam um, is incoming we'll tank that and now we have a ton of energy to throw at whatever comes back in let's see if they come back in with that magnetism so we do have um, a hydro cannon ready for this this is going to get a shield or it's going to do some huge damage and then we're going to be able to fire off another one here we're going to get the last shield here okay and then we're going to switch out and force them to make a decision are they going to switch out or they're going to allow them uh to get ko'd here we're going to shield oh ends up being the mirror shot nice play they're looking for the debuff but unfortunately for them it looks like they are also weak to this Gligar in the back. We're going to go for this dig, completely taking out this Magnezone. And indeed, they are weak to this. Annihilate lurking in the back is going to be easy pickings for this Shadow Gligar. One Aureus goes through, does a huge amount of damage, like 60-70%. And then we're going to be able to farm down with those wing attacks. GG's to our opponent, able to uh, win that game off of a terrible leave. So, Empoleon versus the Magnezone, able to wiggle out of that situation. The... Uh, Gligar was definitely MVP right there. All right, another terrible lead. We're going to switch out into the superior, and then our opponent is deciding to kind of just lurk right now. Ooh, nice catch. But we were ha we, were, we were going to have to throw this arrow ace anyways, so it was good. Um, it was a fortunate situation for us. Uh, they were going to have to tank these arrow aces anyways, but uh, we know that they have the Annihilate and... Uh, Mandibuzz right now. One arrow ace doesn't quite take out the superior. We're able to get to another arrow ace here. At this point, we're just trying our best to get this into a farm down range. Trying to get to another arrow ace, but they are able to snipe our energy right there. This arrow ace will definitely take out the superior. We're going to come back in with our Empoleon, I believe. Try to farm some energy. Is this farm downable? Let's see. We're going to have to tank a move, possibly two. I don't know if this Shadow Empoleon can tank two Dark Pulses, so we're going to show the first one here, and then we're going to have to tank the second one. And then, here's the question, do we get... Okay, we actually double shield, actually, and look for the farm down, because we think energy on our Empoleon is going to come in handy, because we have two Drill Pecks ready for this Annihilate. This is definitely going to get a shield. And then we're going to get to another Drill Peck here, getting this last shield out of the way. And then we're going to go into... Uh, okay, we're, we're gonna hope that they throw a move. Okay, they do throw a move, which um, gives us inf information. They only have Night Slash, so we do have a small chance. This is definitely um, not gonna KO. So, oh, unfortunately, it's the uh, Gligar in the back as well. So, unfortunate right there, unable to win that game with the um, Gligar and the Empoleon with a ton of energy. I guess um, in hindsight, maybe we should have saved a shield. But check out this team if you haven't already. And let us know if you enjoyed the video.